Hey guys, it's Mark from Signature Camper Trailers. What I've got behind me is one of our Signature Elites. It's our forward fold, it's our baby forward fold, but we've just been away for four days in it and um, and we love it. And I'm gonna show you a couple of reasons why we think this is just an absolute prime camper for families, um, young couples, uh, uh, older couples, anyone basically that wants a, a nice big comfortable camper trailer um, and some of the features in it and why we absolutely love it and why, it's, uh, why it was my pick for this holiday that we've just been on. Starting off with our kitchen, it's um it's one of the um one of the feature feature aspects of this kitchen of this particular camper, um, and you can see why it's absolutely bloody huge. Uh, starting off with, we've got a four burner um, cast iron uh, cooker, so it's an AGA cooker. Um, that's actually uh, hard plumbed in, which means basically when you set it up, all you got to do is pull the gas line out the back and connect it up to the quick connection bayonet connection behind the camper trailer. Provided your gas bottle's on at the front. Um, you're away in cooking, so very, very simple and easy. You've got a little LED light over the top of it, so you've got heaps of light. Uh, you've got these movable wind brakes. That way you can make sure that you've got complete coverage from, uh, from whatever the weather brings. You've got this nice slide-out table, which goes out even further like that, so good amount of preparation space, um, space there. You can stick your detail on the end and whatnot. Double latches, so when it locks in place, it's all held in nice and tight. Huge cutlery drawer. Good luck filling this baby up. Uh, we've got a space for everything. Uh, not even we filled it up this time. You've then got a uh, sink area. Um, so you've got a sink in there uh, with uh, pressurized plumbing. So you've got your tap there. Basically that just connects straight into there. You turn your pump on and you've, uh, and you've got running water. So it could not be easier. Another drawer in here for, for bits and pieces. So you've got a good size drawer in there. That's all carpeted as well. Um, and basically your light drops down there once you're, once you're done. So in terms of simplicity, um, ease of use and, and basically features, you just cannot beat this, type, this style of kitchen. Uh, we love it and we, we know you will too. So what else has this camper got that you're absolutely gonna love? Well, starting on the outside, we've got um, power sockets everywhere. So 12 volt sockets, WSB, and another 12 volt socket. You can never run out of charging ports. Come on down this way and what we've actually got is the pantry. So in here is our huge oversized pantry. Up the top, you can see a nice big drawer which has actually got um, uh, spots for all of your poles plus a few extra long things. You can throw fishing rods in there, um, extra, uh, extra um, tent poles, all that sort of stuff in there. So you can throw all of that in there. Massive pantry. So that slides right out of here. Um, as you can see, we've got a stuff in here. We've stacked a stuff in here. We could not fill it away for four days and we couldn't fill it. So um, huge amount of space in there. And then behind me is your fridge slide. So this here is our fridge slide. We've got space for a uh, dual zone 95 litre fridge. Um, so basically beauty of a dual zone fridge freezer is that you can have a uh, fridge and freezer, both running as freezer, both running as fridge. Massive amount of space um, all the way through. Clearance to open the door fully up even when the camper's fully engaged. Uh, and we set all of our campers up with both um, 12 volt SIG sockets as well as Anderson connections. So um, that way, no matter how you connect your fridge up, um, uh, we've, got a, we've got a solution for you. So now check out the annex. So this is all part and all, all included within the, uh, within the camper. You actually get a fully enclosed annex that comes with this. So basically, once you set the camper up, throw the, uh, throw the roof up and you can attach as many walls as you like to it. You can throw one wall on, you can throw all of the walls and you can turn it into a completely enclosed space, including an ensuite room at the back. Um, what we actually use is we use aluminium poles all the way around. So they're incredibly light, um, quick connections. So basically they're, they're very easy to put up. You're not uh, manhandling big steel poles. Uh, very light and you only need a couple of poles to go up. Um, you're looking at about maybe 15 minutes or so. Um, uh, someone can give you a hand putting it up, it's even easier. So not too hard at all to throw this beauty up and look how much more space you get out of it. So check this out. This is the front of our camper trailer. So basically this is the business end. Um, when we're connecting, the, uh, connecting it up to the car, what we actually use is an off-road poly block. Uh, so this is a 360 degree um, off-road hitch. And what we can do is we can upgrade these to your, to your McHitch, to your DO35. All of that's an option with our camper trailers. Um, you just gotta let us know which one you want, but um, that'll connect the car up nice and, nice and tight and, and it keeps everything nice and secure. And obviously you've got dual safety chains. Um, you've got your handbrake. So handbrake wide in through to the back wheels. That way you can lock it all into place. We've got a, a 10 inch Alco jockey wheel. So it's a heavy duty jockey wheel. It's a 400 kilo static load jockey wheel, um, which gives you yeah, heaps of sport and maneuverability with this kind of trailer. You've got a winch at the front. This is basically designed to help you bring the camper over. So when you're setting the camper up, all you've got to do is throw the lid over, connect the winch up, wind it down, um, self-locking winch. That way there's no tricky grab handles or anything like that. 
you basically just release, um, it releases as you release the pressure. And up here, this beauty here, is actually a tap from the, uh, from the front tank. So when you've got 100, 160 litres of water capacity within this camper trailer, 40 litres is uh, located in the front tank, and that's directly to that tap there. So what you can do with that is you can put a hot water system on it, uh, you can put a, a hose to, to wash the dogs off, uh, you know, fill the water bottles up and all that sort of jazz, but yeah, beautifully located and she comes in very, very handy. Also up here is a couple of jerry can holders and two gas bottle holders. So two nine kilo gas bottles uh, and two 20 litre jerry cans. That way you're never gonna run out of fuel, water or gas when you're away, away on your big trip. But check this out, we've been running off solar for the entire trip. So basically what we've done is we've rolled a solar panel out hooked it straight up to the Anderson plug on the front of the drawer bar, and she's been feeding the, um, the power into the camper for a couple of days now. We've not had to connect it up to a car, we've not needed 240 volt or anything like that. Um, we've had fridges running, radios, lights, everything going, straight off one of these beauties. They're unreal, you gotta get one. So at the moment we're in the shade, um, but uh, don't worry about that, in about an hour or two, the sun's gonna um, hover up overhead, and we're gonna pass the trees, and she'll be, she'll be sitting in the sun, and before too long, we'll be putting 100% charge in. So check out this side of the camper. For starters, you've got a whole bunch of windows and all of these are basically weatherproof windows with more aluminium poles. So all these slide up and down, that way you can give yourself as much, uh, as much uh, air and, um, and ventilation inside the camper as you like, or you can close it up. And generally what we do is when it gets nighttime, we'll lower it all down that way. We know if we've got a bit of a wet night ahead, all the rain's gonna run off and we're well protected. But look at the ventilation, you cannot get more air and more fresh, uh, fresh breeze straight through the camper, which is just makes it so open and so inviting as a whole. So you've got these windows all the way around it. Up the top, we've actually got a tropical cover on the roof. What a tropical cover does is that actually, uh, that actually stops the heat from penetrating into the camper. It also gives you an extra layer of water protection and security over the, uh, over the canvas as a whole. So um, that's a thick tropical cover, um, good quality. Uh, she's up there, you don't need to take it on and off. It's just up there permanently, you never need to move it. Up the front here, we've got a couple more storage compartments. So this is basically the, uh, this is the shed area. So what we've got here, nice big storage box. Um, it, it can be used for housing your generator. As you can see in this circumstance, I've put my tool bag, we've got our, um, our tent bag with all of our, our um, pegs and ropes and all that sort of stuff. We've got a stack more room still in there. So you can put your canvas in there, you can put anything in there. It's a huge amount of space and, uh, and comes in very, very handy for your bigger bulky, bulkier items that you need to take away with you. If I shut that up and we'll have a look at the, the opposite side, the toolbox side or the tool drawer side. So this is the other end from your pole storage. As you can see, a huge amount more space all the way through. And then we've got another huge drawer. So if I roll that out, you can see all of the extra stuff that we like to take with us. We've got our jerk ball, we've got flour, we've got our, um, our mocha pot, um, and all the other bits and pieces you end up taking away with you that come in so handy when you're camping. But we've still got a stack of room in here. So let's check out the brains of the operation. Down here is actually your master control box. Now, just like you've got a control box at home, this is where we control all the power and water situation in the camper trailer. So you've got a massive 40 amp breaker switch. What this switch here is that's actually running from your Anderson plug on the front of the drawbar all the way through to your batteries. So if there's ever a connection issue between your car and the camper trailer, this is the first thing that's going to go and it's a resettable breaker switch. That way we can get everything up and running in no time at all. Then we've got a couple of water gauges here. This is for our two, two water tanks. So our rear 120 litre water tank and our front 40 litre water tank, which gives us our 160 litres of water. These LEDs light up and let you know how much water you've got on board. Down here, we've got the master control to turn all of our power on and off. So we've got a primary power switch, and then we can isolate each different area of the camper trailer from our pumps uh, through to all of our lights, our socket switches, and our fridge area. That way, when you're, when you're traveling to and from a campsite, you can have the fridge running and you can have everything else off. Or when you get home, you can power the whole thing off in one simple switch. Looking down the back end of the trailer, we've actually got two water fill points. So as I mentioned, we've got two water tanks. So this is your front water tank fill point, and that's your rear water tank fill point. So it's just a matter of sticking the hose in there and turning the tap on and letting, them, letting the water fill up. Down below here is, uh, is our all-terrain tyre. So basically what we're running is our own signature branded uh, wheels. These are custom designed, custom made um, wheels uh, with all-terrain tyres. All-terrain being the best for an all-purpose uh, general sort of uh, tyre to get to campsites and through all sorts of different um, terrains, whether you're on, on the road or, or dirt roads. Um, Hard-wearing, uh, good quality tyre. What we've also then got is 12-inch electric brakes. So we've got a 12-inch 12, 12 drum brake with, uh, with dual independent suspension with twin Dobinsons 4x4 shocks on each one. So these are a, um, a, a custom setup in terms of the, um, in terms of the swing arm. Um, they've been engineered basically with the, um, to ensure that the spring sits nice and flat 
um, and they've actually been rated specifically for the weights of all of our different camper trailers. So this particular camper trailer um, uh, has a spring that's weight rated for our tear mass, which is about 1300 kilo, all the way through to our ATM of two ton. So what you, can, what you can see at the back here is a few bits and pieces that'll come in handy during your time with your camper trailer. So we've got stabiliser legs on each corner. These just drop down and wind down. That way they give the, um, a nice stable surface for the camper trailer to be on. You've got basically some, uh, some shackles here, um, some tie down shackles here uh, on each corner. And you've also got a hitch, so it's a 50 mil bike hitch. So we can actually put an extension piece on this. That way you can put your bike rack on the back um, and carry a couple of bikes on the, um, on the back end. Then, as you can see, we've got two spare wheels. Uh, so you never, never run out of spare tires and our winch, which we use for, uh, for uh, setting up. Um, and packing up the camper trailer. Centrally located, that way when you need to pack your camper trailer up, all you gotta do is flip the top open uh, and pull a direct feed straight back down. So, bit of design going into that one with the, uh, with the bow roller and a few other bits and pieces to make it as simple and easy to use as possible, um, but cannot get any simpler to pack this thing up. So this here is one of our water tanks. So this is the 120 litre rear water tank. It's a, um, it's a food, grade, uh, food grade water tank with a, um, a checker plate covering, protection plate over the top of it. Plus you've also got a gravity fed tap there at the bottom there. All right guys, come on in here and I'll show you why forward fold camper trailers are one of the highest selling camper trailers on the Australian market and why people actually love them. What's not to love about this? When you go camping and you go away, uh, if you just need to get away from the crowds or you wanna sit down, have a game of cards, um, read a book, you cannot get a better better situation than this. So what's special about our forward fold camper trailers is we actually use an 18 mil timber veneer cabinetry throughout the entire camper trailer, which means that you've got beautiful thick cabinets all the way through. It gives it that real quality, um, quality feeling throughout the camper trailer. You've also got a CD player, which has got CD, uh, FM radio, uh, and Bluetooth with a couple of speakers through it. So you can have a nice bit of surround, uh, surround music. Um, set the scene really when you're away camping. All of our windows fold up um, and you have basically dual, um, uh, dual window screens on, on the inter internally and externally of the, uh, of the camper trailer. That way at night time, you don't need to worry about the outside windows. You can just roll the inside windows up if you wanna get a little bit of extra, uh, extra privacy. But as you can see, the world has opened up in this um, in this scenario. You've got uh, light, you've got, you've got nice breeze, and you've got, um, you've got basically the outdoors coming in the entire time that you're here. So let's have a look at what's under this seat. If we fold this up, what you'll see is two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. That's 200 amp hours of battery power that's powering this van. Um, that's a huge amount of power, and it's gonna get you, um, uh, keep your fridge running, keep everybody happy for, for days on end. The thing about a camper trailer like this is we can actually design it and customize it specifically for you. So if you need DC to DC chargers, dedicated solar inputs, uh, 240 volt site packs, including uh, full breaker switches and, and caravan park approval, um, through a 2000 watt inverter to keep the coffin machine running, we can do all of that when we set up your camper trailer. You just gotta let us know how you go camping and what you need to, uh, to make your life very comfortable out in the bush. You're not gonna believe it, but on this side, we've got heaps more storage. Have a look at that. You can throw all your, your doona or your, um, all your uh, soft stuff in there easily. You've got the back of the stereo, but there's still a heaps more, heaps more space. What's great about this area though, is we can actually put a diesel heater in here. So if you like cold, cold climate camping, um, but you want that little bit of warmth inside, we'll throw a diesel heater right in there and that'll keep everything beautiful and crisp. Check it out, a second double bed within the camper trailer. How did we set this up? Well, all we did was actually folded the table down, put the cushions over the top, and now you've got a space for the kids, uh, for family, for friends, whoever else wants to stay in the camper trailer with you. And the most important part of a camper trailer, the sleeping arrangements. This here is a queen size, 140 mil thick Dunlop posture foam mattress. You cannot get more comfortable than that. Custom made, Australian made uh, Dunlop mattress fills this area. As you can see, you've got a huge amount of space. Um, you've got windows all the way around, which can open and close from the inside. You've got built-in LED lighting with dimmer switches. And best of all, you've got a privacy screen up here. So I think it's time for a nap. See you guys. Thanks for coming and checking out the, uh, the Elite Camper Trailer. We love it. I hope you can see why. Um, so if you if this kind of camper trailer interests you, come and check us out at Signature Camper Trails. We've got showrooms in Western Australia, South Australia. Uh, we're in New South Wales in Thornley. Um, check us out at signaturecampertrails.com.au or give us a call, 1300 935 400. Um, we love it, we know you will too.